Okay, welcome. This is the second part of the uh, tu tutorial for your uh, Chaos Sphere editor. Um, last time I actually forgot uh, to uh, tell you how to move objects like lights, brushes, and stuff. Um, so just to catch up on that very fast, um, we have the room that you've created that I've created last time, I just uh, textured it. Um, so I have these different viewports here because we're gonna work a lot on the grid today and I want it to be visible to you uh, a little better. Uh, so if you want this set of viewports, of course you can go to view, viewports, configure and choose the first setting. And um, yeah. And uh, how I do uh, move, like, for example, your builder brush, which is not visible when you start your editor, usually you don't see it. Uh, you hold shift and left mouse key and you can move it around. Or you can use it with control and it will then move without moving your camera. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, the same applies to every object that you have. Um, remember that your room is a brush, uh, so you can move it in the uh, grid view or in the wireframe view, or you can actually say, select the outlines, the the, key, the the outlines of your room. Uh, so we can move it around. And it cannot be. Yeah, but we don't want to do that. So let's just get it back here. Hit build all to just make sure that it all works perfectly. Uh, last time we had light here. So uh, lights also work the same way. You hold control and left or right mouse button key depending on where you want to move it. Uh, right. Um, oh yeah. Mm, the in this view, uh, the left mouse key moves it to the sides, the right mouse key front, uh, front uh, and uh, back. Uh, but it, of course, depends on your angle. So, yeah. And both of them move it up or down. Uh, let's hit, hit build all. And we have our small room. Uh, you probably want to know how texture stuff because I just showed you the, how to put the texture but you probably want to learn a little bit more about the browser so I'm gonna do just that in a second because before that I'm gonna teach you about uh, one more very special tool here for your brush building um, so we have um, the brown brushes and your builder brush which is red and you're gonna have also one more type of brush which is uh, blue one uh, this is the edit stuff so when you cut out a room you can add a shape inside it if you want it to if you want something like that so let's go let's create our uh, uh, small cube of 256 so that it fits in the room Let's build it and let's place it in the middle of the room on the ground preferably so we go into this grid view and we can see where it is exactly um, and you want to be precise that's why we work on uh, grid 8 because uh, if if you stick to the typical multiples of 2 you're gonna be just fine moving around objects and getting uh, them to stick to the ground perfectly and precisely. So we have it in the middle and now instead of subtract we're gonna hit add which is right next to it. And you see that everything lit up um, and we have a cube in the middle that has the texture of the floor. Um, let's hit build all and the light adjusted and yeah you can add stuff your rooms that way as well. Um, so that's uh, that's one thing. And the tool I want to yeah and see it's blue. 
Okay. And the tool I want to teach you is right next to your camera movement, which is your default tool that you have switched on. And now we're going to learn with vertex editing and what it can do, because our room right now is very boring. It's uh, very cube. I don't know what's the adjective for that. It's very uh, symmetric and cube-like. And if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, you can add some diagonal shapes in it. However, beware that this game and this engine doesn't like special angles. It prefers straight angles because um, it's hard to uh, for the game to figure out what is happening when you have diagonal angles. For example, spies can't climb them uh, so easily. But we'll learn about it later. Um, so, uh, Vertex tool, basically, what it does is that every cube now that you've created, it has, on the angles, it has those small, smaller white cubes. And you can hit them with your left mouse key. And they will be movable by holding Ctrl or Shift with your mouse key, right? Left mouse key. Um, you can, if you hold control, you can hit even two of them and move them. I don't know how visible it is on the blue one, so let's go with red one. Uh, your builder brush, you can change it that way as well. It's actually very uh, important to do it in the builder brush because it's much more comfortable to just have the shape you want uh, the moment you want to build it. So yeah, you can change it like that, and now you will be able to create this new shape that you can add to your cube in the middle, right? Let's hit build all, and yeah, we have this new shape here. Uh, now, um, if you, as I was showing, if you hold control, you can hold both of these and you can extend your brush. And you can even do something strange as this. But I don't know how useful that would be. And you should avoid shapes like that, actually, because they can create visual glitches. So let's go back to a cube shape. A rectangle, actually. Um, yeah, if you just, by the way, if you just hit with your left mouse button the cube, it's gonna go back to what you have set it to in your cube builder. Uh, so remember, when you get to a very strange shape, just hit the cube builder, uh, hit the cube button, uh, and it's gonna go back to your original shape. So, yeah. Uh, this uh, this tool, Vertex tool, you're going to be using it a lot to adjust your rooms just the way you want them. Um, aside from that, below you have Actor Rotate, which is basically for everything, uh, to um, a tool for every single thing to turn it around. Uh, if you now just hold, uh, if you hold your Control or Shift, and uh, the left mouse button. Uh, oh, it's not gonna do anything apparently. But if you hold Control, it's gonna start turning the cube, and you will see it. For example, here, see. And if you want uh, in 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 this tool, if you want to move something, you hold Shift, and it's gonna move around. However. Uh, with the left mouse key and shift, it's gonna move move it around. It's very useful to remember that. Um, if you hold control, however, it will be with left mouse key. It's gonna be turning it that way. If you hold control and right mouse key, it's gonna turn it the other way. So now this will be visible here. If you hold both of your keys, it's gonna finally move it in the other direction. That will be visible on the side. Remember, it applies to 
everything. So lights, uh, static meshes, actor, classes, everything is rotated by this tool. What else do we have here? We have texture movement because we can rotate also the textures on the walls in your rooms. You can rotate them with this, this button here, texture rotate, just the way you like it. However, I liked it just the way it was. Let's try to put it to that shape, okay. And you can move them also around. Uh, I am all, by the way, I am holding control, of course, and right mouse key uh, to do all these things, or left mouse key, depending on which way I want. You just have to experiment with control, shift, and your mouse. Uh, it, it can all come very natural to you after a while. Uh, what else? Uh, yes, uh, I'm gonna actually. Mm, okay, let's create actually uh, a typical vent because you probably you 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 want to have a lot of vents in your maps. I'm guessing. Uh, typical vent is uh, 128 by 128, and whatever the uh, length you want it to be. So let's hit build and we have this small vent here. Let's move it to the ground and if we subtract we're gonna have this little vent-shaped uh, tunnel. Let's create fast here a room to connect it to. Okay, uh, and subtract, and build. Okay, so now what we have is a room with a vent that leads us to another room. Okay, so... Mm, one more thing for this video that I'm gonna teach you is how to do those nice textures. You probably could have guessed it by now how to do it. So uh, up here we have our different browsers, the actor classes browser, group browser, sound browser, texture browser, uh, static mesh browser. Let's hit texture browser. And by the way, all of these you have here in the tabs but we want textures. I'm here in the Aquarius textures actually right now. Uh, how I do this is I go to open package and sometimes it throws you into another folder so you just have to click packages and find your textures. Uh, here you have different files for uh, textures from all of the maps that you have. So beware, every map you have uh, installed, it the textures from them are all here and you can use them and abuse them just as much as you like, which I actually enjoy very much. And if you go, actually you should, uh, I'm going to tell you the names for different typical maps that you're going to use textures from, but uh, you should just go on and experiment. You should just open every single file here and just look through and see uh, if there are textures that you're interested in. Um, so we had Aquarium, uh, which is for Aquarius. Bunker is actually for Missile. Um, CHU is for Sanctuary. Uh, CLU is for Clubhouse, of course. Uh, this strange thing here, Dear Poc Chantier, don't ask, it's French. Um, it's for a museum. Uh, DTK, you have even two files for that, uh, because for it has also from the Xbox uh, textures. Uh, it's for DevTech. Uh, FAC is for factory. GAR is for station. And uh, let's see what else you have here. We have Krauser, which is easy because it's Krauser. I think Multibu is for Rivermore, but not sure of that. Map 17 is actually Polar Base. Uh, what else do we have here? 
new prison and prison is for hospital. All rig is all rig. Uh, Panama, Panama. Uh, what else? Oh, those SFX. You can recognize there is Deptech, Krauser, Chevron, Warehouse. Um, SFX is for special effects, of course. So you won't be going into this these folders so often because uh, you can't really put those textures on the walls. But I'm gonna teach you that later. Um, SQU is for squad. Um, what else? There is probably some more you wanna know. Uh, uh, actually, I think these uh, these agouts or something like that. It's uh, it's for Shamron, I think, um, as well. And you have TME and TSP, which are tutorial maps for uh, Merc and Spy. And you have actually quite a few good textures there, so it's 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 good to check them out. Sky is for uh, Vertical Plaza, UMP. I don't remember. Uh, BNK is for bank. INI is for uh, what's it called cinema. Uh, mall is definitely for river mall. Uh, don't remember what's this one. This is orphanage. Don't remember this one. This is warehouse. Mm, you have also oh yeah, and one of these is Zioplex. I don't remember which one though. Um, so yeah, a uh, very nice thing is to just experiment and watch all of the different, different files you have here. Let's go back to Aquarius though. Mm, and uh, you have pretty good textures here actually. Uh, you have different subsectors. Sub it's very nice, uh, nicely done in terms of subsections in the texture file. Uh, not all of them has this. But if you just want to scroll for, for all of the textures uh, in the file, you can just hit all. And it's gonna give you all the textures you have here, um, which is quite a lot actually for Aquarius. Uh, I actually like the subsections because when you learn them, you know exactly where to look for what. For example, metal. You're gonna use the metal from here. Uh, so we built our little vent, and we probably want the vent texture, uh, ventilation texture in it. And this is just the perfect texture for that here. You have this shader aqua metal ventil ref. This is it. You hit it and you have it. Yep. This is your typical vent texture. So, yeah. Um, you have also different uh, concrete textures wood. And my favorite temple. It's from Greek temple. It's so good textures, Jesus. I love them. Um, yeah, and I think that wraps it up for this part. So yeah.